Greetings fellow learners. In this video, we are going to talk about region proposals, the what, the why, and the how. So what are region proposals? They are essentially candidate bounding boxes where an object of interest may be present. So each one of these boxes is a region proposal. Now, why region proposals? They were introduced in object detection around the 2010s for the following reasons. One is computation efficiency compared to traditional sliding window methods. And two is that they exploited the hierarchical nature of images for better performance than traditional methods. Now, we're going to discuss both of these in a little bit more detail, starting with computation efficiency. So back in the 90s and early 2000s, object detection was done with sliding window approaches. And it kind of works something like this. You take an image, and then you have like a fixed size window indicated by this red box. And for this red box, we are going to extract certain features using, at the time, maybe in the 90s it was wavelets, early 2000s it was like the histogram of gradients, just different feature extraction techniques to create this little vector. This could be like 50 floating point numbers, for example, to represent this square over here. Then we pass this into a trained SVM classifier. This is gonna be a binary classifier. In this case, let's say it just tries to recognize a tiger and it'll output some probability number. So probability in this case would be that this window contains a tiger. And then what we would do is slide this window by like a pixel or two, and then repeat the process of feature extraction, maybe feature selection in the middle over here, and then SVM classification, and then keep doing this, sliding the window pixel by pixel throughout the image until the entire image is covered. And then we do this for images of even different scales too, to make sure that we're picking up objects of different sizes, some closer to the camera and some away from the camera. And then after that, we have like a now like hundreds of thousands of these bounding boxes. What we do is that we iterate over the bounding boxes in the descending order of their SVM prediction, and then remove the bounding boxes, which have a very high overlap. And so you'll end up with probably one bounding box, ideally per object. And that's how object detection is like traditionally done. Now, an issue with this approach is that we have this very expensive like feature extraction, SVM classification step. These are done for many windows on many scales. So hundreds of thousands of times potentially. And so it can become quite expensive. Now, what we can do in order to mitigate this is region proposals on different scales instead. So what we do at a very high level is that we have an image and we create just 2,000 bounding boxes in total. Each of these 2,000 bounding boxes are region proposals for which we extract features. So we'll have like 2,000 of these features. We'll then pipe them into an SVM classifier in order to detect if it's like there's a tiger or any object of interest in that window. And so this entire step or sequence of steps is going to be executed a fixed number of times only, regardless of the image size. And hence, it scales quite efficiently. And this is especially true as we get into like the 2010s, where we have much higher quality images in data sets. So we have like a larger number of pixels. And so the sliding window approach just becomes more and more inefficient and expensive. So another reason why we use region proposals is for a better performance. So consider this image over here. It's actually a pretty straightforward image for us to detect objects. So it's easy to detect a cat. But this image here, it's not super straightforward. We have like, well, if we want to detect like what is a table, the bounding box would probably be around this entire table, even with all the contents on it. But this table consists of also a bowl, which we would draw a bounding box like this, and then a salad, which would be like this, within which we have like spoons. So it's very clear from this image too that in general, images are intrinsically hierarchical. And region proposals can exploit this fact, and hence they yield better performance. 
Now, how we actually do this is using a technique, well, one of the many techniques called selective search. So selective search is a region proposal technique that exploits this hierarchical nature of images, and it combines the effects of exhaustive search along with image segmentation to come up with region proposals efficiently. So exhaustive search, by the way, is like a sliding window approach, and image segmentation is the grouping of related or similar pixels together. Now, let's take a look at the algorithm for selective search for creating region proposals. So first, the input here is going to be an image. The output is going to be 2,000 bounding box region proposals. So for this, step one, we generate initial pixel regions, R, with the Felsenswab segmentation, setting K to 50. So Felsenswab segmentation is a graph-based segmentation that is done as a pre-processing step to object detection, typically. And this K will determine how easy it is to combine regions of these segments together. Larger the K means that larger segments will be there in the final segmentation. So to illustrate what this actually looks like, it's gonna look something like this. So this demo is essentially going to call the, the, the segmentation algorithm where we pass in this image and let's just say this K value is going to be 50. So with an input image, you can create all of these segments. Now, if you increase this K value, you see that the, the size of these segments has now you know, increased. The, each of these color little plodges are a segment. And now if you increase K to 150, they increase further still. You increase K to 300, these segments again increase further still. And so the idea is that we can create these segments quite quickly. Uh, for any input image. And so we start with this first one right now with K is equal to 50. Now for more information on this, I've coded this out entirely and you can refer a previous video for this or like a GitHub in down in the description below. Now, once we generate this initial segmentation, we're going to initialize a similarity set to be like an empty set. And then what we do is we determine the similarity between every adjacent region, R, I, and R, J, and then add it to S. And by similarity, we can just like give a score to like how similar two, two adjacent regions are in color or in texture. And what I mean specifically too is that let's say like, you know, this region, this red region over here, and all of the neighboring regions over here, we're gonna compute like the similarity score and we're going to add it to our set. So you can imagine there's like thousands of these similarity scores, especially for very like small Ks where the segments are very fine. Next, what we do is step four, where we iterate over for, you know, all the, the region, you know, similarities that are in this set, we'll take the ones, the two regions with the highest similarity score, and we will now merge them together. So if they're R, I, and R, J, they will merge to form this new region, R, T. And because it's a new region now, we can remove all of the old similarity scores attached to the old regions, and then we calculate the new similarity scores for region R, T with its surrounding regions. And so S now has a slightly less number of uh, similarities here. And we keep doing this until S will eventually become an empty set and this will merge all segments until they are one region. And in order to kind of visualize that, you can kind of see right here, where let's say this is iteration one, this is the initial Felsen Swab uh, segmentation algorithm that we initially ran. And after many iterations of this grouping and merging of regions, you can kind of see how, you know, in subsequent iterations, you have like the number of the regions themselves or the segments become bigger until over time, you can kind of see that eventually the there's only like all of the segments are constituted in one region. So we now have a hierarchy of segments that we just created. And then what we can do is we can repeat it for different values of K. So this is K is equal to 100. We will have now an initialization that looks a little bit different from the previous case. And we again try to create a hierarchy of merging these segments together until we get 
a single segment over here. We do the same for k is equal to 150 as well, where we start like this and then continuously merge these segments. And then we also do it for k is equal to 300 too, where we start like this and then continuously merge until we have a single segment that looks like this. So now we have like four hierarchies all together. And this is exactly what is in step five, where we repeated it for, you know, k is equal to 50, 100, 150, and 300. Next, what we'll do is we'll draw bounding boxes around each region of each iteration and each value of k. So there is tens of hundreds of thousands of these bounding boxes, as each segment now has a little bounding box. Then we sort these bounding boxes such that the largest bounding box is first, and then we will iteratively remove bounding boxes that overlap with these largest bounding boxes. And here we will only keep like the largest 2,000 of these bounding boxes at the end to have 2,000 region proposals. And effectively, what that kind of looks like is this image over here where we have 2000 of these each of these like red boxes is a region proposal and that's all we have we have 2000 of these region proposals and this can be used for further processing in object detection now one thing that's important to note here is that like intuitively you can imagine that this is actually a very uh, there's a lot of these segmentations that we're running, and it, it seems like a very long process. And honestly, it still is kind of a long process. So this is like a 1500 cross 1200 image, and this took 15 minutes to run. But, you know, we can actually speed this up, and many speedups have been proposed over time. One is to downscale the input image. The second is to prune the bounding boxes initially by ensuring that they are some sane range of aspect ratios. So we don't want like bounding boxes to be like very tall single pixel slivers because that doesn't really make sense. So we are just like calling them all together so that we don't need to create bounding boxes and sort them all and there's no need to process it. Next is to reduce the number of segmentation hierarchies by reducing the number of Ks. So instead of taking 50, 150, 300, and all that, you can take like probably a less number of Ks. The next we can do is also use some built-in OpenCV libraries that might have simpler region-based similarity calculations. So if we're calculating like similarities when we're trying to merge different regions, it might be better to have like use more quickly computable heuristics which is done in many of these like OpenCV built-in sources. So I hope all of this and how we create these bounding boxes make sense. Quiz time. Have you been paying attention? Let's quiz you to find out. Why use region proposals versus the sliding window approach for object detection? A. Region proposals reduce the number of candidate regions. B. Region proposals focus computation on likely object areas, making detection faster. C. Region proposals discard unlikely background windows before classification. Or D, sliding windows are more efficient because they evaluate fewer regions than proposals. Note that multiple options may be correct, and I will give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct options are A, B, and C. Did you get them right? Comment your reasoning down below, and let's have a discussion. And at this point, if you do think I deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like, because it will help me out a lot. Now that's going to do it for quiz time, and before we go, let's generate a summary. So in this video, we looked at what are region proposals, and we defined them as candidate bounding boxes where an object of interest may be present. Then we discussed why we use region proposals, especially in like the 2010s, and it's because of computation efficiency as well as improved performance, and specifically for the current algorithm that we took, we exploit the hierarchical nature of images. And then we took a look at an algorithm for selective segmentation, which is an algorithm for creating these region proposals. And we also saw some fun images to show the results of the final process along with some caveats and how we can make this much faster. And that's all that we have for today. 
And I'm gonna link some resources to like other videos that kind of talk about the Felschenschwab segmentation and some other topics in general down in the description below. So please do check that out. I'm also gonna release the code for this too on GitHub in the description once more. And like I mentioned before, if you think I deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.